In your other morning headlines, Houston police are investigating a deadly crash involving a pedestrian this morning happening off the North Freeway and the Little York off ramp. Investigators say around 1245, an Uber driver had a passenger demanding to get out of the car and be left on the shoulder of the freeway. The passenger then ran across the feeder and was hit by a passing vehicle. That driver left but did come back an hour later. Police say they did appear impaired. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Police are still trying to understand why they wanted out of the Uber. And police are investigating a deadly drive-by shooting in front of a convenience store in North Houston. It happened around 945 last night near Barron Spring Drive and Ella Boulevard. When Harris County Sheriff's deputies got to that store, they found a 69-year-old man who'd been shot dead. This was a drive-by shooting. Um, multiple individuals inside a vehicle drove by the location and uh, open fire on the front of the store. Well, it's unclear if the drive-by shooters targeted the man they killed or if it was a random shooting. They were in a dark colored sedan. Call police if you have any information that could help police catch them. A woman is taken to the hospital in critical condition from several stab wounds. Investigators say reports came in of a man dragging a woman into his car. When officers found the car, they pulled him over on the North Freeway and found that woman bloodied with multiple stab wounds in several parts of her body. This happened around 930 last night. Officers arrested the man who claims to be friends with the wounded female and police say he was not being cooperative. He is a person of interest in this case as police continue to investigate. We're time now for some updates on some of the top stories we first brought to you last night at 9. The man who escaped from the Harris County Courthouse earlier this week is now back in jail. Michael McCombs was in a courtroom on Tuesday when a big fight broke out in another courtroom on the same floor. When guards ran to deal with that situation, McCombs was somehow able to get out of his shackles and make a run for it. Now, his freedom didn't last long. Police arrested him at a hotel just yesterday. We now have surveillance video showing a man falling to the ground after getting shot during a shootout in an East Houston apartment complex. We first told you about it yesterday. A man pulled a gun on another man who he says was breaking into his car in the 12,800 block of Wood Forest Boulevard. The accused car burglar also had a gun and both men fired at each other. The suspected thief got hit and then he ran to a gas station, which is where this video comes from. He's going to be okay, and so far he doesn't face any charges, but police do consider him a suspect in the car break-in. 